Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps for one of these. It's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. I do hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Well, the biggest show in town just now, Peter, and everyone wants to be a part of it. Uh, a competition that seems to draw out the, the whole gamut of emotions. And in keeping with that, we've got an atmosphere with a real sense of enthusiasm here. And uh, I'm hoping we get lift off once this game kicks off. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Tricky, but Karen Benzeman. What impresses me about the Frenchman is his willingness to, to keep going for the team, even on days when it's not as fluid. And I think that has a knock-on effect, and it sets the tone for, for that little bit of extra grittiness. I think the opposition defence agree, too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Barella and Mkhitaryan Keeper's got good distance on that Muscular approach does pay off here The pressing's intense and it's paid off And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside to go again for Woodson with intent away from immediate danger and it's wasted clear Rudiger and here's Benzema Benzema's delivery Ball into space. And Danovic sends that a long way. Great defending, strong and determined. Well, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Crosses blocks, and that's a corner. It's their second corner of the game. And he just whacks it away. Into Milan, can counter promptly here. Oh, it's a promising build-up, there's plenty of really nice passing. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. 
Inter are clearly looking to use the space of the flanks here. With a few to, to what exactly, Jim? Well, it can encourage the fullbacks to get involved and increase their chances of more service into the box. Barena moved forward and quickly so. A foul, yep, referee's given it. And here's Lukaku, and here's Mkhitaryan, gets to show off his quick feet. Modric, Benzema, not long till half-time, and it is still goalless. Shapes to shoot! He's delivered all right! You know, you just know there is no stopping that. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a prompt. It's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And he was alert to it. Played out to the left flank. Vinicius Junior. And here's Benzema. Well read. And the danger is averted. Look at Tari. And here's Lukaku. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Leading 1-0 at the break. So we're already into the second period. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. So, third quarter of the game. Up for a header! That's a half-decent try. Valverde, and it's Tony Cross. And that's a foul, three kicks have been given. Strike is there, and he can get that clear. Alaba, to Tony Cross. Valverde, Martinez, now it's Lukaku, now it's Gorsens. He is through here! That's positional goals, the utilisation of space. Ball's gone out of play. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Now it's Benzema. Lucas Vasquez. Out of 
final ball not quite right and his teammates are irritated at that. Rudiger. So Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Great position. And the shots! No mistake! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! It was a great finish, he put it away with great coolies, dead eye accuracy. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time laying things up. That's a cracking goal. starting to look very comfortable well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other and it's Mkhitaryan Mkhitaryan cuts a frustrated figure right now he just cannot get away they're just trying to negate his influence and it looks like whatever it takes Valverde. And he's in a really good position here now. Horsons. Looking here to chip it through. Oh, that's well spotted. And the keeper's got it again. One ball by the goalkeeper. There's the crossfield ball. And it's Mukatarian. But it goes, it's Modric! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Modric should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. So their fourth corner of the game. To the keeper they go. Courtois. Courtois hunts it upfield into the last five minutes. Stefan de Vrij. And it's Correa. Now it's Martinez. He's lost the ball there. Great tackle. Mendy. And it's lofted through here. Now, looking to orchestrate a counter. He's in acres of space here. He's trying his best to keep it in play here. Lukaku! And that may well be that. That is that. <laughs>